Hey guys, so uh, in Europe, guys, you will find a lot of major differences with the toilet compared to America. Uh, this toilet specifically, you you won't necessarily see this in every European home. This one is uh, actually in a hotel that I am currently staying at in a, a city of Ulu in uh, Finland. But the whole point is, this toilet has no bottom. If you guys look closely where my hands are, if you look closely where my hand is, you can realize there is no such thing as a base. There's no bottom touching the floor. It has a base, it has a bottom, but there's no base. Meaning I can put a broom, I can I can do a lot of things under here, okay? There's a lot of activities that takes place under here, right? So that's, that's number one. This thing right here, I'm getting it out of the way first because it's not something that you will see commonly in every single toilet that you'll find in Europe, in Europe. But everything else that I will mention, that will be pro probably in every single toilet that you will see in Europe. But this one right here, it's special for Europe. I've never seen it in America before, never, ever, ever. But let's move on to something else that is really spicy. So toilets in Europe are technically a lot higher and not necessarily too low. They're for some reason a lot higher. So I guess for taller folks, you sit more comfortably on this type of toilet. For shorter folks, it's still good enough, if you know what I mean, right? But for taller folks, it's definitely gonna be something that helps you a lot because sitting on a toilet that is really low is gonna affect you a lot. So that's number two. And uh, number three is something that I find really unique. It's probably not with all European toilets, but I think for the majority of the American toilets that I've witnessed or seen, they don't necessarily have a shape like this right here, where it's a shape that fits in with a seat right here, because majority of the time when a male, let's say, comes to the bathroom and he lifts this, he can actually lift both of these at the same time because they actually flush together so it's, if he lifts this, that would be so specific, if you know what I mean, right? So it's actually easier to lift it and operate it like this. The toilet that I have back home completely, completely is inside, like it is 100% together and you have to separate them. What up guys? So remember I was telling you guys about the toilet. So um, this is exactly what I was talking about with the toilet back home. This is how it is. It uh, literally you're lifting and it's gonna go up automatically normally with the, uh, you know, the part that you would normally sit on. And so that is a benefit that is very much um, present in this specific toilet. But normally I will say that the average European toilet will definitely come in a better uh, format where this is easier to lift because majority of them will technically be uh, opened and uh, the this piece, the second, the piece in the middle will be able to go sort of inside of here. My toilet at home goes fully inside and you can see 100% it's inside. So it is very, very, very much more ergonomical, easier for the, uh, you know, male, female to not have any technical difficulties, you know what I mean? I've heard about a lot of those issues. So um, yeah, I just demonstrated that. And also I was mentioning to you guys that the toilet in the hotel where I was staying at, the bottom of the toilet was not on the floor. As you guys can totally see, this bottom is on the floor. So that is what I was showing you guys. And uh, that's not something that is typically uh, very common, but um, most of them are going to have the bottom on the floor. But uh, majority of them, not majority of them, but some of them don't have it. And also for the buttons, I was showing you guys that they have the two buttons. This is a typical thing in Europe. They likely will come with a button. And if they don't have two different buttons, they'll just have one big button over here, like you can see with mine's at home. But like I said, this is how the typical European toilet looks. So um, yeah. So that's another thing I've never seen that in America. It's usually a flat surface to another flat surface surface where there is a clear separation between the both. And number two, sorry, I think that's probably number three just now. So number four is definitely going to be inside of the toilet. Unfortunately, I can't touch my camera, but inside of the toilet is somehow smaller. Every single European toilet that I've seen thus far, the inside of the toilet is literally smaller. As you can see, my hands practically fits that toilet 
American toilets are usually like really, really, really big. I'm not saying this toilet is bad, but it's really, 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 really small. And the other major difference that you're gonna find, I'm gonna definitely have to wash my hands and move my camera for this one, but it's going to be these buttons here on top of the toilet. Like I said, I'm gonna wash my hands and uh, change the camera position so you guys can see the difference. But these buttons, I've never seen that in America. It's something really special and I'll show you guys in a second. So as I described earlier, the buttons on the toilet is very unique and different. So if you notice, these are water droplets. Uh, let me get a little bit closer so the focus might be a little better for you guys, but these are water droplets. You should be able to see that. And this is a large one and this is a small one. Don't know why it says D-O, you know, because if you multiplied that by two, you might get a nice little fancy word. Don't know why they did that, but that's pretty cool. But either ways, uh, you can see how small the toilet actually looks like. It's really, really small. I, yeah, I have big hands, but I mean, yeah, this is really small. But either ways, uh, back to the point, guys. So the point is, this one is for large amount of water, small amount of water. So you tap that, you can hear that. Look at this now, it's more water. That's probably too much noise. Right, so one gives you a little less water, one gives you more water, right? Which is something that I don't see in America. I've never seen that type of vibe ever in America. And to give you guys a little bit more view of inside of the toilet, that's what it looked like when I was saying it's a little bit smaller, if you get what I mean. Like, yeah, it's a lot smaller, right? So guys, since we've covered the toilet, now what we're going to be covering is the ultimate thing that I don't think you would ever find in an American home unless you got a lot of money, right? But I've never actually known what this was before. And this is a handheld bid, bid, bidet or bidet. I think I'm, I'm gonna say bidet because I think that's what the internet told me was the pronunciation, bidet, right? So it's a handheld. I've never used one of these before. Don't think I will ever. But um, uh, let me angle that camera a little bit better so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So practically, um, I was told that you got to have this on first. So the tap on, it's you get on this side. So you got to have this bad boy on right here. And then once it's on, you can go boom. <laughs> so you cut the water from there and it comes to this one. Cut the water from here, that one comes to this one. So. Uh, let it go, goes back there. So, yeah! So, if you don't know what a bidet is, it's something to, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's something to get you cleaned up. But um, there are other types, there are other types like toilet versions of these. So, um, in Europe, you'll find that in very common, right? But um, in America, this is something that is rare. I'm sorry, it's rare if you see it good for you but if you don't see it don't worry don't feel left out it's just not an american thing but um i've never used one of those before and i don't think i'll actually be using one of those anytime soon but i guess that's gonna wrap this video up guys with the differences between an american toilet and an Euro a, a, a european toilet like i said before there were some very 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 um, drastic differences these differences are differences that you will see every time like this is not a difference where it's like okay Finland has it but Germany doesn't have it every European country will and should have these things right so these were the differences let me know if I missed anything let me know if you guys agree or disagree I'd really appreciate that so uh, describe all those uh, feedbacks in the comment section and thank you guys for watching if you have any uh, suggestions videos that you want to see compared to America Europe compared to America England compared to America go ahead and leave those in the comment section and I'll try to get back to those as soon as possible thank you guys for watching we're out of here peace
Hey guys, so this is a picture of a typical American toilet. And as you guys can totally see, it is a much larger toilet and it is flushed to the floor. Like I told you guys before, not every European toilet will not uh, be flushed to the floor. Not all of them levitate, but uh, majority and um, majority of the European toilets will actually touch the floor. But I've never seen a levitating toilet in America and um the seat cover of the toilet you guys can see what i was talking about it is definitely separated and you can totally see the separation in between the toilet seat and the uh seat cover so also what is different is that the toilet is generally more uh of a larger type of toilet and you can totally see that in the picture but either ways guys that's going to be the end of the video thank you for watching and uh leave comments in the comment section and talk to me about what you think are some different differences between european toilets and american toilets that i may have missed thank you for watching please like and subscribe peace